New tonight, at least 33 people were arrested after violent clashes between supporters of President Trump and counter protesters this past weekend. They're facing a variety of charges, including assault tonight. In one instance, a Black Lives Matter sign was ripped from a church and set on fire. Black Lives Matter has already condemned Saturday's violence, and tonight their leaders are looking forward and are talking with our Larry Miller about their plans for 2021. Larry? Oh, Bruce, good to see you. Yeah, it's certainly a long conversation with them about the future of the organization. BLM DC continues to maintain a consistent position that their focus lies in their community work, defunding the police, and now going after police unions. We have made a lot of a lot of headway. The conversation around defund police has both brought in people who are like, OK, this is a new idea. Black Lives Matter DC has seen the pendulum swing in its direction in 2020. And it's also highlighting the, I guess, hypocrisy in um, the fact that the establishment are more concerned with votes and how um, a party is perceived than like dead black people. Intense public outcry after the death of George Floyd resulted in the D.C. City Council passing emergency temporary legislation. The bill reallocated funding in MPD's budget, banned chokeholds and expedited the release of body camera footage. The changes, for instance, allowed the public to see body camera footage just days after two separate high profile incidents involving 18 year old Dion Kay and 20 year old Karan Hilton Brown. Both men died during encounters with police. April Goggins, an organizer with Black Lives Matter DC, says their work is far from over. I think you will see a bigger push for some of our um, mutual aid. Have a, have a good day. Which is sort of an exchange of resources and services to support the community. I think we're keenly aware, especially with COVID um, rates rising again, um, and just the economic impact and, and emotional impact on Black folks. What we're doing is connecting people um, directly to to a source of support for the things that they need. But most importantly, they'll be turning greater attention towards police unions <laughs> that they say make it difficult to hold officers accountable when they're involved in deadly situations. You're going to see us definitely um, come for D.C. police union. Um, enough is enough with them. D.C.'s police union has been vocal that the recent legislative changes have, quote, put members at risk and exposes neighborhoods to violence and exposes local businesses to destruction and looting. There have been more calls for D.C. police to patrol neighborhoods that have seen an increase in violence, all while the department itself comes under the ire of a public that's grown increasingly frustrated with the way in which black men and women are treated by law enforcement. Whatever we can do to cut out, stop, shut down the D.C. police union, that's going to be a big goal. It's worth mentioning that Black Lives Matter DC recently has spoken out against Black Lives Matter Global Network in a statement published just a few weeks ago. They say they want more transparency and accountability from the global network. But Bruce, the local chapter here says that they are focused on police unions. They say that is really going to be where they're going to see the biggest change when it comes to police reform.